Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this October 23rd. It's a soggy start to your Monday morning. Take the rain gear. Watch out for a lot of standing water on the area roadways. The rain coming down pretty good this morning. Some heavier rain in some cases. And I'm looking at some of the Kentucky Mesonet sites, like back to the west, where they've had one to two inches of rain already this morning. And as of 5 a.m., we've picked up over a half inch of rain here in Bowling Green. And it's still coming down. Looks like it'll be with us for a few more hours. This is a very slow-moving system. Area of low pressure is going to pass right overhead and take a uh, cold front with it. And with that will come a good chance of rain today, tapering off gradually as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. Yesterday, we reached a high of 82 for your Sunday. That happened at 1 o'clock at the Bowling Green Airport. That's 13 degrees warmer than the average of 69. And then we had a low of 52. That was 8 degrees warmer than the average of 44. One year ago, we had a cool high of 64 and a low of 43 back in 2016. And... um, Well, before midnight or for the day yesterday, no rainfall all the way up until midnight. Uh, We did not really pick up any measurable rain until after midnight. And since then, as I mentioned, we've picked up about a half inch or a little bit more than that. And I think we're probably going to get rid of that deficit, which now stands at an inch and eight hundredths for the month of October. We may... uh, break even or come close to breaking that um, deficit so we're going to go with a 90 percent chance of rain likely no thunderstorms there's really not that much in the way of instability so you shouldn't hear any thunder or see any lightning it's not anything but rain and a high today at 70 which we've already reached now temperatures will begin to slowly fall with the passage of the cold front Breezy west winds at 12. Tonight, rain ending. Cooler, 45. And then for Tuesday, mainly sunny and cool with a high of 56. A west wind, breezy at 13. And that's going to set us up for maybe some frost, maybe widespread frost. uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning with a low of 36. That's a possibility. Wednesday, we'll see a mostly sunny 55 to 38. Thursday, we warm it up to 66. But that's as warm as it's going to get all week long. 66 to 48 and breezy on Thursday with sunshine. Then the next Arctic front makes its way into the area. Friday afternoon and evening, 40% chance of showers, not really thunderstorms, just rain, and 63. Then we get down to 38 Friday night, showers left over Saturday with a high of only 53, but we get down to 35 Saturday night, and that's when I'm saying we could see a little wet mix possible. Not a guarantee, and even if it, even if this produces a snowflake or whatever, it's going to melt as soon as it hits the ground. Maybe even before it hits the ground. The ground is still too warm, so yeah. I mean, it's it's exciting to start to talk about you know the little frozen precipitation possibilities, but this is going to be mainly rain. It's too warm still for it to be any big deal, but it's a possibility as we get into Saturday evening. And then Sunday, showers ending in a chilly 52 degrees as skies begin to clear. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app in WBKO.com and on your Alexa device. 
Then later today, if you can, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m., or listen anytime online at BowlingGreenSam.com.